Hey everybody, it's Under My Cap, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to use the slash tp command to make mobs follow you. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So as you can see here, I've set up some command blocks to help explain it. So I'm basically going to start off with the really simple command, which I hope all of you know, and then get straight on to the really cool command. So basically I will teach you how to make certain rules apply to entities to, for this one, for this example here. Um, when the entity stands on a red concrete block, instead of the player or the entity walking off, the entity will be teleported to the player or any specified location you like. So the first bit of the uh, TP command, which you will need to know for the second bit of the tutorial, is this. Now it's the basic layout. So you've got the slash TP, you've got the at E, which is your uh, data set or your data for entities. Uh, you can change this to at A, at P, it doesn't really matter, um, depending on what you want to teleport. But for now, I'm doing at E because I want to teleport um, all types of entities. Now, instead of teleporting every single entity in the world, I want to teleport only defined entities to myself. So using the name equals um, nbt tag, it basically only teleports entities with that tag. So if I place a name tag on an entity called test1, this command will apply to it. Any other mob will not work. And then obviously the last bit is the destination. So whatever you, wherever you want the entity to teleport to, you can um, put it here. So I just did myself just to make it easier. So as you can see, when I start this up and I place this on the villager, you'll notice that the villager will keep on teleporting to me. And this is really annoying because the villager is teleporting literally on me. What you can do to uh, make this much easier is you can use the slash execute command to execute the villager to a different location. And it's really simple. So what we'll do is we'll go, oh my gosh, if I can click on the command block, go slash execute at, and then you go under my cat because that's where you want it to be teleported to. And then what you'll do is you'll go run, oh, and then you get this command. Now what you want to do is you want to get rid of the player name here, and you'll actually want to put in squiggly line coordinate. Now what this is actually doing is it's going to execute the command at me, and pretend that I'm the command block myself. So if I did, uh, let's say this, it will teleport it to me, but it will also teleport it through blocks above me. So let's try and test this out. So you notice the villager is not gone, but it's actually above me now, which is really, really cool. And you can do this whatever you like. You can actually uh, change it so that, um, let's do this. The villager will be five out here. It'll keep on following me. Um, it's really, really cool. The villager also bounces as well. It tries to copy every single move you do, and it's really, really useful. Now the second one is teleport if on red block. Now this command is really simple itself as well. It is the execute command as well, um, just with uh, a bit more in-depth stuff. So basically what you want to do is you want to type slash execute at, at a name equals test2. So that's, I'm just doing test2 just to make it easier. And then we now need to do an if statement. So if the block underneath it, so you, that means underneath. So if the block underneath it is Minecraft red concrete, as seen here, then execute the command at the entity named test2 here, and then run the tp command, and then you just type this all in again. Now I'll quickly show you how this one works, so let me quickly get an anvil. So if I change the villager's name to test2, so as you notice it's now test2, you notice nothing actually happens. Now this is because the villager isn't meeting all of the uh, requirements. So if I get a red concrete block, so red concrete, and I place it just where the villager is about to walk, so let's place it here, you'll notice the villager gets teleported straight away to me, which is really cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place... Oh, okay, I do not know what I just did. What the... So that's basically it for the video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I love creating a whole bunch of fresh new Minecraft content, which 
hopefully not a lot of other creators make. Um, but yeah, if you do have any other suggestions, because I am I'm really running out of um, ideas for these videos, um, please comment it in the section below. That would be greatly appreciated. I do not know what that villager is doing. What the? And I'm terribly sorry that I haven't been making a whole bunch of bedrock videos. I am going to build a PC soon, so hopefully I'll be able to get uh, Minecraft bedrock on that and do a whole bunch more bedrock videos. But for now, because um, I only have Java, um, yeah, I can only do Java videos. But uh, yeah, so make sure you subscribe, like, also check all my socials in the description below as well as my website. And I hope you have a great day. See ya.